This is the B3RN and B3RN HD1 Los Angeles. The B3 Radio Network. Hello, welcome to Re- Reload Recharge Review on the B3 Radio Network, SoCal's internet talk station. Sorry, it's brand new. There's format. no way. There's no format. way that's yeah. un- there's no way that's yeah. uncoerced. No, oh, well, first attempt. I mean, granted, there was a knife between the two of you guys, but I mean, still, <laughs> <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> Uh, no, you don't want to do that, dude, because uh, Donald Trump's going to sue you for ownership oh, rights on that. Oh, I know. Huh? You did use his You're laid now. off. <laughs> <laughs> Better? Yeah, that works. Uh, <laughs> All right, today we're doing a guest segment with uh, our BAWS, Brian. Hello? How's it going? <laughs> yeah, uh, so we're kind of in the mood to take a shot. All right. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, what I some more than others. Yeah, yeah, we're going way off topic here because I mean we're we're a gaming show, but yeah. Yeah. Well. Well, I will say that I am the uh, program director for the B3 Radio Network, and I do want to say that I was watching the last two episodes of you guys' show, um, for you know, collection review of what your guys' stuff is showing on the show. Uh, You guys are doing a phenomenal job. I love you guys. You guys know what you're talking about on this show. Everything about video games. I am. I was actually listening to it when I was at work. My real job, besides this, <laughs> besides this fake job that I do here on the radio network. You guys actually do a really kick-ass job. So I hope you guys continue that. You guys are kick-ass. I love you too. You guys keep doing what you do here. Sweet. Uh, but on that, congratulations. Uh, I do have, <laughs> regrettably, I have a lot of whiskey left in this Jack Daniels bottle, which I did want to chug. Just really quick, and then I'm going to make go make burgers for these guys. So, Sweet. Cool. Um, I do need a chaser, though, because I already have been drinking previously. Something that's not really... Your norm here on the on the show, huh? No, no it's well, this was a special. This is a special episode. Yes, <laughs> episode okay. three. Third, third one's the charm. Oh yeah, yeah. And nothing adds charm like a bit of whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and for the recollection, every show here on the B three Radio Network is webcast, and there's a bottle I'm holding up of Jack Daniels, number seven. <laughs> Tennessee whiskey. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna okay. All right, you give the toast, and I'll chug it, and then chug my a chaser, and then we'll go, and you right. guys can do your show. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Boogity boogity. Ah. <coughs> Woo! Really? A cough, dude? Oh, yeah, I'm a little sick right now. Oh, yeah, that's right. <sighs> Which is how is it like idea. to see your program director a little tipsy? <laughs> Standard. <laughs> yeah, we usually see that, though. <laughs> All right, well, I just wanted to say, I just wanted to join you really quick, because these guys do a phenomenal job. Um, I love what you do. I, actually, the funny thing is, I'm not a video game person at all. Like, not anymore. I used to be two years ago. He used to be He's a the, former enthusiast. Yeah, actually, I used to be a PlayStation fanboy really badly. I mean, I was in the little Big Planet Resistance 3. I could just totally say, you know. Back, like, when the PlayStation 3 was, like, the shit. Yeah, not, first, I mean when it first came out. I mean, not, I'm not, I'm not belittling it. I'm not gonna be speaking blasphemy. Actually, even over the, the over the time when Resistance Two came out, mm. I would have said that like, yeah, I was a I was a Sony fanboy. Um, so the whole thing, man. Wh- right. <laughs> Sorry, a little technical difference. <laughs> <laughs> um, so with that said, I mean, you guys rock. I really do love this show. Um. I'm hopefully I'm hopefully uh, want to have more shows like this where there's just so much content involved in this. You know what I mean? Where you guys are just involved in what you're talking about and have extraordinary just emotion into what you're programming. It's really awesome. Bringing uh, our passion right to others' oh, yeah. people. Uh, uh, no, bringing our mean, passion to others' hands. Literally, exactly. I mean, you guys. I'm not paying you guys, and you guys yet come back every week and go and <laughs> just give me stuff that's really awesome. Uh, especially with Boontarn too, because he's on you know two shows now with Speed and me. Uh, Speed, which is the other show here on the B3 Radio Network, which is the only show about cars, motorcycles, trucks, and ATVs. He is your workhorse. Yeah, actually. <laughs> he is. So I just want to uh, thank you guys so much uh, for letting me check that Jack Daniels. I'll probably be sick in about five minutes. 
Um, thank you so much. So, would you like some jalapenos with that? No, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go run outside. Inside joke, yes, I know. Uh, so, you guys do what you do. Uh, I'll review you guys later and say if you're fired or not. But right now, you you're pretty good. Sweet. All right. So, you guys do what you do here. Keep on time <laughs> with your commercials and stuff. Love you guys. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So today, uh, let's see, we didn't really, really come up with much no. on the schedule. Oh, um, Mass well, Effect 3 is right actually, around the corner. Actually, no. Speaking about uh, right around the corner, I've actually, uh, I, during um, the talk before the show, yeah, I was looking up upcoming games. There's actually a couple games here that I'm really looking forward to. Diablo 3, which is coming out early 2012. Oh, sweet. Jesus. Oh, I know, right? I know, it's kind of ironic. I'm like, yes, yeah, sweet Jesus, Diablo. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Uh, dude, Diablo 3 is coming out, like, supposedly within the next two months, maybe the next two or three months. Oh, nice. Yeah. I kind of envy some of my friends because they already got to play the beta. Oh, uh, yeah. I know, right? Oh, well. My internet's shit out right now. Oh, my God. It's like, the past two weeks, I haven't had any internet whatsoever. Uh, I've, I've had sucks. to go to other people's houses. That sucks. But, uh, thank, you know, thank goodness for uh, friends that uh, have internet that yeah. they're willing to let you use. Hmm. Oh, but here's some other games that are coming out. Ninja Gaiden 3, which is actually coming out this month. Yes, another Ninja Gaiden. Yes. I've, I've, I've got mixed emotions on that. I like the game and, and I don't. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't is know. it the achievements or what? No, it's like I got a love hate relationship with the game. Hmm. No, no, I, I just read I love the game. It, uh, yeah, I mean, I love the, the concept of it and everything, but, you know, sometimes, you know, the difficulty, dude, even, like, you know, like, say the easy difficulty, I mean, or maybe it's just me, but, like, you know, the easy difficulty alone can be, like, you know, total pain in the ass sometimes. Well, no, I guess the bosses, yeah, but after a while, you get used to it, you know? Yeah, that's true. That's true. I remember uh, Ninja Gaiden 2, uh, partway through, there, there was a part where I got stonewalled a bit, and I think that was... What the skyship mission? Oh, jeez, I hated that one. That one was a pain in the ass. Like I kept dying on the armadillo at the very end, and then I fe- and then I had to read up later on online how to how to beat it. Right? Yeah, it's like I did no, the same thing. After you kill it, you have to block. You have to hold to the live. guard. Otherwise, it's like oh, that's why I keep dying. No, yeah, no, no. Oh yeah, because uh, I I played against the I played against the armadillo about four or five times. Yeah, and every single time I died. Yeah. So I was like, how the hell am I supposed to beat it? I checked it up. You're supposed to block. I'm like, yeah. Huh, so you're blocking with an inch of a blade and against an explosion. Say, yeah, some ginormous a explosion. Nuke, like, pretty much, a, a nuke. Miniature, and I'm just like, a miniature has nuke, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. The only thing I was coming to was like, how am I supposed to block a nuke with a sword? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I just realized something. I hated that. I hated the whole, uh, the, as soon as you get a new weapon, you automatically change to it. Oh, yeah, you kind of messed up your achievement, didn't you? I was so close to getting the for achievement the, for, those for, you that, for those of you that don't know, Ninja Gaiden 2 features uh, a, lo- a, a slew weapon, of achievements, uh, weapon-based weapon achievements. Weapon-specific so achievements. There are at least, I think, like, what, eight, nine weapons in there? Uh, think about my, six, my, or seven, six or I'm, seven. I'm in weapons. the right ballpark yeah. there. Anyway, and uh, there are achievements for going through the entire game using just that one of those weapon. weapons. Well... He, uh, you know, he went through the game pretty much. Uh, what were you using, right? The I was using the scythe. Okay, yeah, the eclipse scythe, which is, you know, it's, it's a weapon you get off one of the bosses later on. Um, but yeah, uh, he he was doing good up until a certain point. But whenever you get a brand new weapon, you, you automatically, automatically equip, equip it. it yes. Well, he didn't realize that he'd, uh, you know, through a cutscene, he gained one weapon, and. Uh, his first instinct was, okay, I'm going from this cutscene right into a boss fight. Started attacking. He attacked using that brand new weapon and uh, basically screwed himself out of the achievement. And this was towards the end of the game. This is that, that's, that's the only thing I don't like about the game is those specific achievements. If you damage a boss or any yeah, anybody... Any, any damage caused. If, any damage caused... It has to well, be with that one weapon. Well, yeah, any, da- any damage caused with another weapon will... I mean, you can, equi- you can equip them, but I mean, just don't use them. Yeah. But if you do any damage, though, it instantly nullifies your achievement. Yeah, your achievement, You're which fucked. I really hated. See, what you should have done is you should have loaded back your previous save. That would have uh, that would have saved it. No, you but, but that, you kept going w- though, didn't you? Uh yeah. I was, I was since I was like, oh, I'm already at the end of the game. Might as well just beat it. Yeah, 
Uh, that sucks. I know. But there's always next time. But no, it is a fun game though, you know. Nothing yeah. but uh mindless slaughter, you know. You sick bastard. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. How is it wrong of me to to like chopping off people's heads in that game? <laughs> It's wrong of you to just want to chop off people's heads. Just in general. As a general rule of thumb, you know, it's, it's well, kind of no, wrong no, to want well, to no, chop no. someone's head I off. I know that, but I'm talking about game-wise. Oh, well. Like, like some when people... Put, when you put it like yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, because a lot of, you know, game-wise, people think of uh, instantly killing somebody. You know what I mean? But yeah. they don't do it outside in real life, no? I should hope not. I hope not, yeah. We here do not condone violence. Or no. at, least, uh, at least that type in real life. No. Not, you know, reality is precious. Hmm. Yes, yes, it is. Stick with it, but you know, treat it kindly, and it will treat you in return. Yeah, but I'm interested to see. I'm interested to see how uh, Ninja Gaiden Three it turns out. Yeah, sp- uh, supposedly uh, Ryu Hayabusa, the main character in this game, uh, is befallen with uh, some sort of sickness or disease in here, and that's you know. He's it, no, he's turning into a full fledged demon. Uh, I I saw some uh, reviews. No, not reviews. Yeah, some previews. He's becoming an actual demon now. He's slaughtering like innocent people. Yeah, yeah, people. but I mean, b- because he was infected with something. Um, like that—that's why, like his right arm or something like that is—it's like you know, all pulsating uh, or something. No, sure. Actually, I think it has something to do with the first game. Remember the first game where he becomes. I never played part- the first game. I, the, the only Ninja Gaiden oh. game I was the second one. That's why. I know. I I, I kind of messed up well, here. I, the, I started yeah. from I started from the middle of it. It's like you know, if this was Star Wars, it's like oh, I started from Empire Strikes Back. It's like wait, who's Darth Vader? Who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, and and the first one, I think I think it has something to do with the first one. I'm just making a guess here. I'm not for sure, but in the first one, midway through, no, like towards the end of the game, he becomes a uh, Ryu becomes a demon. Oh wow! He like he literally his he he becomes a blue, his whole skin come blue, blue, his eyes become red and everything like that, and he starts fighting against demons like that. The blue man group thought about uh, <laughs> oh, yes, recruiting yes. him, but you know he didn't have any you know rhythm. So. Yeah, I know, right? He had a decline. Yeah. But uh, pretty much, but he was able to control it. I think in the I think in the third one though, he actually loses control. Ooh, yeah, because I saw a preview. It was dark, dude. Well, shame on him. No, because um, <laughs> he, well, then again, it is a terrorist group. But the uh, the the last guy. This is the preview. The last guy. He throws down his gun. He's uh, he's begging for mercy, pretty much, and he's telling him he has a family, he has a kid, and all that Who stuff. Gives a shit if they're terrorists. Yeah, exactly. He kills them, and as his, as the screen is blank, he goes. You're a monster. Oh, yeah, and by the way, we yeah. here at the B3 Radio Network do not condone terrorism. So no. if you're a terrorist, fuck you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but I'm interested to see how that turns out, though. Number three. Yeah. Some other games are coming out. They're pretty interesting. Uh, are you a Resident Evil fan? You know, I can't... I mean, I, I don't hate the series, but at the same time, I can't say I'm a fan of it. I've, I've only played, I think, like one game, and even then I only played a portion of it. So. Oh, you too. I yeah. played. I, 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 played. I, I, you know, I'm not like I said. I'm not against the game, but at the same time, I can't say I'm for it because yeah. you know I've you know I've never really played much of it. You know. No, me neither, man. Me it's, neither. It's a, it's unexplored territory for me. Yeah. Like I said, yeah, I played. I only played like ten minutes on like number four on the GameCube, and gotcha. that was it. Other than that, though, I played the mercenary mode, which was pretty fun. Mm. Yeah, but there's two Resident Evil games that's coming out that my friend is really looking forward to. Uh, Rubber Ducky. It, Resident his, Evil Rubber Ducky. No, no, no. That no. His oh. uh, his his GT is Rubber Ducky. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna give out the rest of it, so you know. Okay. But this one though is coming out this month, which is like towards the end of this month. Is Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, where I think you play as you play uh, as the oper- Resident Evil. Uh, uh, you play as umbrella an umbrella operatives. soldier. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Operatives. Instead of the uh, the you know the uh, the instead main character. Instead yeah. of the occasional riffraff. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm interested to see how that happens, so, you know, <laughs> I'll find out from him. And then another Resident Evil is Resident Evil 6. From what I heard, that involves all the main characters. Oh, wow. From every single game. So it's just a giant hodgepodge. Pretty much, but let's see how it turns out, because they're including, they're including all, the, all the main characters from all the games. And it's, this is uh, about two, three years later. Well, I gotta admit, all right, games like that, they're good in theory, but they always come up short because the expectation for them is set really high. Yeah, yeah. But that, you know, that's because, you know, okay, they figure, okay, all this good stuff getting put into the game, they figure, okay, well, this game better kick ass, otherwise, you know, anything short of kicking ass is gonna suck. And, you know, pe- you know gamers are very... Uh, 
fickle, a fickle group. They're a fickle. Fickle group. and very demanding at the same time. Yes, exactly. And above all else, we're very jaded. Hmm. Jaded. You know, you uh, we can get a ga- great game, but at the same time, it doesn't mean we're gonna fully appreciate it because we'll uh, be like, yes. "Oh, well, uh, it you know this great this game was great too." But I mean, you know, I don't know, it just didn't it didn't thrill me. Mm, well, I don't know. It's the eventuality of any gamer, unfortunately. Yeah, well, I mean, that's not to say that you know, unless it, you it, find it, those it, golden it, golden eggs where they please you no matter what. <laughs> there are those gems. Yes, yes, there are. Well. Um, on, on that note, I, I guess we're gonna take a break and uh, continue this later right. after this. Okay. This is Reload Recharge Review on the B3 Radio Network. This is the B3RN and B3RN HD1 Los Angeles. The B3 Radio Network. Hello and welcome back to Reload Recharge View on B3 Radio Network, SoCal's internet talk show. Also, uh, I forget to mention this all the time, but you can also subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and iTunes. We're also on blip.com. Blip too? Yep. Oh, there you go. Uh, and you can also give us a call and leave us your input or some or any games that you want to talk about by calling 626-532-7154. Again, that is 626-532-7154. Yeah, we broadcast uh, between 8 and 10 o'clock. Uh, what is it? Pacific time? Mm, I don't I don't know. I forgot what the ocean is. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, well, yeah, because the Atl- Atlantic is on the on East Coast. The, yeah. Oh, Pacific so this Pacific is on, is on this yeah, coast. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, no. You I just, just learned something, uh, America. No, I just realized, too. Uh, the PCH. Yeah, there Hello. you go. Hello. Okay. Pacific Coast Highway. Yeah. Pacific being the no okay. Pacific, not specific <laughs> like uh, some people think it is. Okay. Well, okay. Um, <coughs> <laughs> cough, cough. Uh, okay. Before we left on break, we we're talking about um, games that are like pretty much not up to expectations, Ooh, right? Yeah. Uh, games falling short of expectations, yeah. but, but at the same time, remember. It's a bit of a debate. I mean, games can be made pretty freaking awesome nowadays, but at the same time, if the audience is nothing but jaded, well, excuse my language here, but if the audience is nothing but jaded assholes, I mean, that's really not the game's fault. I mean, if you know, we're we live in a society today where now, you know, someone can be given like let's say uh in a game of ro- a gun that let's say shoots rockets that launch like nukes and then. Uh, you know, and you take no damage from, but at the same time, it also causes like you know, uh, shockwaves along the way, and so you know, any enemies in your path, they get knocked flat on their ass, and then the final target, you know, gets blown to bits, and everything else gets you know, let's say like a damage over time effect on it. Then you why know, am I suddenly thinking of Borderlands? I don't know. Anyway, uh-huh, but, sorry, but let, <laughs> you know, a gamer could be given a game, uh, a weapon like that in a game, and we'd be like, oh well, whatever, this game's okay, and this weapon, it, it sucks because well. You know, we'll find something wrong with it. Like, oh, it doesn't have enough ammunition, or uh, the fire grade is too oh, slow. No, There's about always ammunition. people like that. There will all there will always be people like. That. I mean, it's a hazard when it comes to gaming. I mean, I'm not criticizing you about it. I'm just stating the facts. That's just how gamers are. Not all of them. I mean, that's not. I'm not. I'm not trying to lump everyone up together and say you know all gamers are assholes like that. You no, know, well. some of them are. Some of them aren't. But you know, the point is, we as the gaming community, we're you know we are who we are. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, speaking about the 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 whole about the whole thing about no ammunition and all that stuff, I was playing Modern Warfare three earlier, and now you know I play multiplayer. That's all I play. Yeah, I know. Since I played, no, since I beat the the story on veteran. Uh huh. Um, I was playing online, and uh, some people are not smart these days, especially when kids are li- little kids are playing. Oh god. No, I was playing, and some some kid was complaining about running out of ammunition. Well, there is a perk to take care of that. A scavenger, right? Yeah, scavenger perk. But he does apparently whatever he picked, he thinks is the ultimate. Don't tell me it was bling. No, no, no. They took out bling. Oh, oh, that sucks. Yeah, no. He put uh, sleet a hand or something. Like the quick reload. 
Oh, well, Slide Which, of Hand's, no, but yeah, Slide of Hand's pretty, pretty good. good. But the thing is, though, they also have a... Because um, you know how some people like specific perks instead of other perks, right? Or yeah. they love, like, three different perks? Multiplayer, they added the... Um, uh, this one, you know how they have uh, the kill streaks, right? Yeah. Well, there's three different ki- kinds of kill streak: the uh, attack kill streak, the support kill streak, and the specialist kill streak. The mm-hmm. attack, yeah, the attack one is nothing but like offensive weapon, no offensive, uh, like um, artillery and all that stuff. Kind of like uh, the AC-130. Yeah, pretty much. And then there's the support where it's just nothing but like UAVs and stealth bombers and all that stuff, right? Whoop de do. Yeah, the stealth. I mean, the uh, the specialist one is where you can pick. Three additional perks instead of kill streaks. Oh wow! Yeah, I admit it. I am a specialist. I don't like any other one. <laughs> I hate. I hate the uh, um, the uh, attack one and the uh, support one. I, I I hate those two. Ah no. You have a, you had a bad experience with them, didn't you? No, it's just that they take too long. Come on, <laughs> tell the truth. Okay, I admit it. I came really close to getting um. The Assault Juggernaut. Ah, there we go. Would you have to get 17 kills in a row on attack, on the attack chopper, on the attack perk, or the attack kill streak? The attack kill streak, no, the offensive kill streak, however, if you die, you have to restart everything. I got 16, and then I died. Well, Pissed see, me off. Well, see, you should have played better. <laughs> <laughs> I did, but then the guy, the guy knew tube, and he got a, he picked out a rocket and he shot me. <laughs> That's why Rocket. I picked the uh, Rockets. Yeah, They're that's cheap. why I picked the specialist one because every two kills you get a perk. Cheap rockets. I know, right? And uh, it's, not, it's not just Modern Warfare. It's uh, it's a lot of other games like yeah. uh, Halo. Oh, I cannot stress man. enough how cheap rockets are in Halo. I mean, you could be you know the best freaking player on the on the map. Well, let's say with just an assault rifle and a pistol. All right, and all of a sudden, boom, boom, you're dead. It's like. Wow, really? you, you just you know you just like lost like a fifteen, uh, fifteen hit kill streak or something like that. Yeah, to some so, to some noob who just jumped into the game with a rocket launcher. That's what I hate. No, that's what I hate about it, especially because uh, every time they pick the rocket up and they 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 th- they automatically think they're the best player in the game. Yep, and then and then they, when they get taken out, they're like, "What the hell?" Yeah, modders, hackers, or whatever. Ah, all these prima donnas and their attitudes. Oh, speaking of Halo. Hero. 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 Awesome. Uh, they're making a Halo 4, which we mentioned earlier. Uh, yes. I think episode 1 or 2. Th- this one will be uh, done by, not by Bungie, which no. is done. Which Bungie, is no, Bungie is done with, yeah, I know. with Bun- Halo, Bungie, Bungie, whatever. Bungie's washed their hands because they don't want to be seen as a one-trick pony. I mean, granted, they had uh, the Marathon series. which I've never actually played that series. You know, neither have I, but you know, I've actually thought about giving it a try, but I have to track it down. W- when I do, I'll, I'll let you know, dude. Um, but they, they also, uh, you know, they don't want to be known as, you know, the one trick pony that's like, oh, okay, every, everyone thinks, okay, Bungie, oh, Halo, you know, they want to be known for more than that. I mean, now, uh, apparently, this will be branching off into stuff with, like, PlayStation or something. Uh, no, no, they're still, they're still PlayStation, no, they're still Xbox. No, no, I know that, no, no, but, but they, they were no, also... No, but they're making, they're the making end, games... Towards the, end, towards the end of their career with Halo, they were branching off towards PlayStation. Yeah, they're, now they're, they're, they're making games... They're adding some features for, and stuff like that. Yeah, like they now were, they're, they're making games for that, it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but now no Halo Four will be will be uh, Done. connected by uh, 343 Industries, which, which is which is a bit of uh, I think it's a subsidiary of uh, not subsidiary uh, it's it's kind of like a branched off co- uh, company from Bungie so it's got some of the same employees uh, some some employees from Bungie went over to 343 uh, at least that was my understanding I don't know yeah if that's yeah no 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 accurate. that's how it is that's how it is but um, but yeah uh, they're gonna be handling the production and you know the designs on uh, Halo Four. Let's, I mean, let's hope for the best. I mean, you know, Bungie delivered, you know, they were solid games. I mean, they were, I mean, granted, you know, no game is perfect. They, it, you know, they had their flaws. They had the either, oh, repeti- yeah. there was either something repetitive about it or, you know, there was something that, you know, that just didn't seem quite right. Like, all right, like Halo 2. People were like, oh, wow, you know, at first, dual wielding. Holy shit, that's awesome. Oh, wow. And then it wore off. It's like, okay, the novelty's gone, you know. Yeah. It's whatever you know I, I was actually surprised when Halo 3 came out and they said dual wielding would not be part of it I was surprised to hear there was a a lot of people that were actually happy to hear it's like oh thank god actually no, no dual I'm one of them because <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like no because I, I do I always dual wielded the um, the uh, plasma rifle and a pistol yeah but wait plasma rifle and a plasma pistol or no, just, just a regular pi- pistol the, the human pistol the human pistol Magnum. okay 
Which I'm actually disappointed that they downgraded it. Yeah, and Halo 2, yeah. Halo 3, too, but not as yeah, much. Yeah, I know. They, they tried to compensate for it, and then, you know, that, no. And then all of a sudden, uh, Halo Reach came out with the pistol. The pistol is actually the same. The only thing is, though, they actually have the uh, Modern Warfare style where if you shoot too much, the, the crosshairs. Yeah, reticle bloom. Yeah. I Which, you know, I have I have mixed emotions on that. I mean, granted, I know, I know the reticle bloom adds a sense of realism to it. I mean, okay, realism being being used very loosely I mean, because, you know, <laughs> yes, you know, ultimately it's a video game, okay? Don't go thinking, okay, hey, you know, I'm a crack shot in the game. Oh, if I join the military, I'm going to be like a total crack shot in real life. You know, hey, I can hit like a, a, a target the size of a pin pinhead, you know, with a, like what, let's say a, an SMG in the game. And yeah, oh. you can't, you know, all of a sudden it's like, all right, I'm going to chuck this apple and see if I can get in. Oh, I didn't get in the trash can. I wonder why. Hmm, right. You know, I mean, but all right, you know, all right, with the, with the sense of realism aside, I mean, <laughs> I mean these games nowadays. I mean, they're uh, well, I don't I have nothing to say because it, it, it's, it's it's you know it's a slippery slope. Yeah, it's it's great and all, but at a certain point, you just hate the game straight out. I don't. At least that's for me because uh, certain games that I played after a while, like after about. Okay, after I beat story mode and after I tried the multiplayer. Yeah. Right, after this the mul- is on Reach, right? No, not Reach. It's like some certain games. After like, yeah, no, like World at War. Call- Never played it. Oh, Call of Duty World at War. I played that one. I heard a lot of mixed reviews on it. I, I either heard rave reviews or, oh well, no, I heard rave reviews all about it. They were either in the positive, in the extreme positive or the extreme negative. But I, I never heard any in-between ones like, oh, okay, uh, no. that was an okay game. No. I either heard it was a really good game, or the game sucked ass. In my opinion, it sucked. Because I played the, the, you know, the campaign. I always play the campaign first when I get a game. After I beat the campaign and I tried out multiplayer, 10 minutes of multiplayer, I quit the game. I literally turned off the system, put the controller down. I was like, I'm not touching it anymore. <laughs> that bad? That bad. At least for me, it was. See, that seems to be the make or break, and the, the make it or break it point in most games nowadays. Multiplayer. Multiplayer. Yeah. Yes. Multiplayer is pretty much nowadays. It's become almost a requirement for a game to be put out. I mean, that's why they did it with Mass Effect. Yes. <laughs> and you know what? I am so. I was so glad. I was all right. I was anxious to see how they were going to incorporate multiplayer. It did pretty into it. good. Yeah. Because I thought, okay, you know, things can get pretty broken. I mean, an adept using, let's say, Singularity, which for those of you who don't know, you know, for those of you who didn't see the first episode, uh, Singularity, or, or adepts, uh, you know, in Mass Effect, they use biotics. Biotics are basically psychic powers. Uh, but, I mean, it's really just manipulation of gravity uh, using kinetic force. Um, Singularity is a particular move that they use. It's kind of like a miniature black hole. I mean, it doesn't suck anything in it, but I mean, things gravitate around it, kind of like uh, kind of like the moon gravitates around the Earth, something like that. Well, things can get pro- pretty broken in a match pretty quickly if, let's say, you have an adept uh, slap a singularity in the middle of a group of uh, you know other players. Then everyone's gonna be floating around, and they're easy pickings because you can't do shit while you're floating around. You can't aim. You can't. You can't dodge. But like I said, though, I like I like how the the multiplayer is on that one, though. Yeah, I hope see, they I hope see, they keep right, to it. See, Mass Effect is a game where you don't want to be you know against other people on that. I mean, yeah, the co- you know in theory it's a good it's a good idea. But mm, but in actual execution, it's terrible. It, it fall- no, no, it, I mean it's a terrible idea because people are going to be doing the most fucked up and repetitive shit. I mean, all right, the Vanguard class that is a. I mean, all right, I will personally say I love that class. It is my favorite class. It, I mean, I've. I've been a Vanguard since the first game, all right? Mass Effect 1, Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3. I, you know, I'm, I'm going to be a Vanguard in that one, too. But well, no, I was always a soldier, so... In a, in a, <laughs> oh, yeah, Mr. Mindless Pull the Trigger, but... Actually, no, I'm, I'm starting to like the Infiltrator on Mass Effect 3. The, the Infiltrator kicks ass. Yeah, it, it won me over in the second one as well. But, you know, all right, it, multiplayer, the Vanguard, you know, the human Vanguard, uh, what it does is, you know, you either have your charge or Nova, all right? <laughs> You know, as okay, soon as on on that note, let's let's take a break. Charge right. and Nova, all right? Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, well, uh, this is this has been um, reload, uh, reload, recharge review on the B3 Radio Network. We'll be back. This 
is the B3RN and B3RN HD1 Los Angeles, home of Reload Recharge Review Thursdays. Visit b3radionetwork.webs.com or subscribe to the B3 Radio Network podcast on iTunes. Uh, welcome back to Reload Recharge Review on the B3 Radio Network. The final segment. <laughs> uh, don't forget you can subscribe. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> okay, yeah, but don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, iTunes, and Blip.com. Blip. Hmm, yeah, Blip. Y- yeah, Blip. Uh, you can also leave us a message or call us at 626-532-7154. Yes. Oh, you can also send us an email at... Uh, R3Radio at live.com Yes Okay back to what we were saying We were talking about Oh yeah uh, We were talking about Like you know How broken some things would be If Mass Effect were like More of a PvP sense uh, PvP in the sense of Player versus player um, You know like Alright like Alright like I said I love the Vanguard Alright Vanguard kicks ass It's Balls to the wall awesomeness Alright <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say But You know Alright like Uh you know, two of the attacks, I mean, dude, charge and Nova, all right? Charge, dude, you could charge from, like, freaking halfway across the battlefield and be, like, boom, like, right in front of whoever the hell you just ran into, like a fucking, you know, freight train. <laughs> and then Nova, you know, you freaking ground pound and take out anyone's shields in the area and toss them up in the air. Dude, following up on that, I mean... Uh, and, and that, that would that's, be that's broken, yeah. P- PvP-wise, that's a pretty fucked... I mean, because, dude, uh, you could even... Uh, like, once you evolve your abilities, you can evolve it in such a sense that Nova uh, reduces the recharge times. Or, uh, you know, yeah, speeds up recharge times for all abilities for 15 seconds by 25%. Wow. And Biotic Charge, if you evolve that in a certain way, it fully <laughs> restores your shield upon use. Because Nova, in order to use it, uh, it takes, takes out your shield. shield, right? Well... Um, yeah, so if you use Nova uh, to take out the shields, uh, it'll re- and you use it so that way, uh, and you evolve it in such a manner that it reduces the recharge speed or re- recharge time. Um, dude, freaking your biotic charge can go from like like a two second char- recharge, which is you know, when you're up close quarters, that's you know that's that's forever, dude. Two yeah, sec- two seconds is you know you're dead or you're not. Uh, that's the difference between getting to cover and getting your head blown off. <laughs> But, I mean, it can reduce yeah. it to, like, let's say, like, 1.44 seconds. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, I mean, dude, after you do that Nova, it's like, you know, charge. And right away, your shield's back to back to full strength. And, you know, you're set up for another Nova. And you can just keep going back and forth with that and spam that. Yeah, so if it was a player versus player, I could see why that would be broken. Yeah. And then on top of that, if you, dude, if you have an adept on your team as well, casting Singularity and tossing your ass up in the air. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's all I said. It's, be- you know, the game is better set, you know, for the multiplayer to be... A cooperative experience. I mean, I like the way they did it. They did it yeah, very well. Yeah, it was well. a very good. They, it's a very solid game mechanic. You know, it's it's a wave based survival mode, kind of like you know, it's based off you know, from what I can tell, it's based loosely off Gears of War's uh, <laughs> horde mode. I mean, where each wave becomes increasingly more difficult, and then well, then I have it, to admit, ten ten waves is a little low. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind if they raised it to like fifteen. Well, yeah, okay, like I'm yeah. pretty sure they'll they'll set up some modes. So remember, this is the beta. Yeah, it's true. still in the beta phase right now. I mean, granted, the game will come... Oh, okay, by the time this airs, everybody, Mass Effect 3 will be on shelves. So, you know, I highly recommend you go get your copy. Yes. Granted, it'll be about $60 to $80. Or oh, ni- no, ni- no. $90. Regular dollars, edition, uh, regular regular edition, edition is about $65. About $65, mm. yeah, that'll set yeah. you back a few. But uh, the collector's edition, like, I'm getting, yay. Um, I hope I can get the collector's <sighs> edition. Knock on wood. I'm hoping for you too, buddy. Uh, right. The collector's edition will set you back about eighty to ninety bucks. Ninety bucks, no. But it is yeah, ninety bucks worth it. Ninety bucks. I'm gonna get my N7 patch. I'm surprised they didn't do a uh, a uh, system uh, the uh, the system release like uh, Gears of War three. No, the system release is gonna be a little later. Oh, later. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like I think okay. like about uh, sometime mid April, mid uh, early to mid April. Oh wow, that's pretty late compared to the game. Well, yeah, but I mean at the same time, still most most of the people are gonna be like, okay, yeah. We've got the game to, you know, keep our minds off of the system in the meantime, you know. They, it's like, you know, they're dangling this nice, shiny new toy in front of you. And they're saying, you know, if you keep paying attention to this, we're going to give you another little treat, a little, 
a little while mm-hmm. after. It's just, you know, bear with us in a, for a little bit. <laughs> oh, um, speaking of uh, uh, earlier about Gears of War. Yeah. I finally got a, a glimpse of the uh, the Ram Shadow download. Oh, you downloaded it? No, uh, Rubber Dougie downloaded it. Oh, uh, okay. And um, since he's a he's an actual friend in person, Real not just storm. Yeah, no, but since he's an actual friend, I actually got to play it instead of uh, you know. But oh my god, dude, his his um, Rams executions in, in during game are brutal. Duh, he's General Rom. No, but like I mean, like I thought they were brutal. Like I know I knew they were gonna be like pretty brutal, but I didn't think it would be that brutal. No, he's not gonna like freaking dance on his tippy toes and be like, no, nah. <laughs> tap, you're dead. No, not like uh, you know how they do the curb stomp, right? Yeah. He takes it to the next level. He picks them up by their head, uh-huh. grabs his sword, chops off his heads, and just throws the head back onto the body. Wow. And that's just one of his executions. Yikes. Yeah, exactly. K brutal. Yeah, exactly. But okay, uh. Back to uh, what we were talking about earlier, ga- games, uh, player versus player. Um, have you heard of anything about Bioshock Infinite? Ooh. No, have you heard? Like, because I remember number oh, uh, two they ver- did. They yeah. did. Uh, you mean multiplayer? multiplayer? Yeah. I. You know what? I honestly couldn't say. I have no. Oh, like, you never touched the multiplayer on Bioshock? No, no. I tried the multiplayer on Bioshock too, but it subpar. Okay, it was another one of those. You know it. It could have been something a whole lot better. Oh, okay. No, it, I got you know, you. it was good in theory. In execution, it no. it fell short. I mean, it was it, it was really easy to get to have have some pretty broken and overpowered uh, aspects of the game. Uh, well, like yeah, like I mean, um, okay, like sometimes. Sorry, people, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, actually, he did, but you know, it's because he's an asshole. Sorry. Well, okay, <laughs> I'm as you as you're saying, I'm kidding. All right, um, all right, like look, sometimes uh, like all right, the electro bolt uh, plasmid, it's you know, it's you know, there, there are these things that you you inject in your, your character inject into into itself in order to like you know uh, use different abilities like uh, Electro Bolt in this case you shoot lightning from your fingertips. Think Emperor Palpatine if any of you guys have ever seen Star Wars or some shit. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's not a sustained thing. It's just you know, it's a quick burst. Oh, it's just real quick. Not yeah. like not like it's Star Wars the, it's, where it lasts for a no, while. No, no, it's like yeah, you hold it on. Oh my god, that'd be way overpowered. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, it's like this quick burst of electrical energy. Anyway, um. Or incinerate, like one of my friends' favorite. That's their favorite plasma of all. Uh, it's basically anything within your line of sight. You know, you cast incinerate, and the thing bursts into flames. What if they're like uh, about like a hundred feet away? Uh, as long as you you you've got as them, you uh, as long as you've them? got them in the target reticle, and you cast it, boom. Really? Yeah. Oh wow, that's kind of. And then well, yeah, like well, I said. Anyway, mm. uh, there's another one. Uh, oh God, what was it? Uh, Ice storm, I think it was. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, basically, it uh, you know, it f- cast. It's basically incinerate, but the yeah. opposite of it. You know, instead of instead burning, of instead, of, squ- flame, instead of searing their flesh, you know, you freeze them solid. Hmm. And anyway, the, the only thing that was broken with the that uh, the only problem I really found with uh, the multiplayer was sometimes like or like let's say Electro Bolt. Sometimes it would stun them, and sometimes they just shake it off and just keep going. Oh wow! And you know, but it, it's not a matter of like okay, the player got lucky. It's just the, with the way the mechanic, the game mechanics worked, sometimes it would work on them and sometimes it wouldn't. Oh, and you know okay. it says you know it doesn't say it has a chance of stunning. It says stuns, just like that. It doesn't say it has a chance of it. it just says it's supposed to stun them. All right, it doesn't matter who the fuck they are. It doesn't matter how strong they are. You know. Oh, and if you get them and if you shock them when they're in water, it causes like shitloads of damage. Well, yeah, it's water. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean things things about that they, they were pretty broken. I mean, like I said, the okay the the single player experience on its own, it's a solid game, right? Well, I, you I, know, I wouldn't know. I've never right, played yeah. any of the Bioshock. Right, I appro- first approached Bioshock with some serious skepticism. I mean, I I'd heard okay, yeah, I'd won like game of the year tw- two years in a row. The first game, uh, I was like okay. When it were when I won the first game of the year, I was like, oh whatever. At that time, that was around when Halo Three had ca- first come out, Ooh. and I was like, you know what? Fuck that game. I like you know. I'm 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 gonna stick with my Halo Three. I don't know anything about this game. I don't want to know anything about this game. You know, I was <laughs> I was like you know no. I'm sticking with it. I'll be I was being a loyalist. All right. And then it won game of the year a second year in a row. And granted, this game came out. You know. You know, two years. It, it, it had been out for two years, and it still won the game of the year. I was like, really? I mean, dude, there were some solid titles. I think, I think, what was that? Uh, God, uh, oh four, oh five. 
What, what, when was it? Halo Three came out. I think like two thousand six. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway. Um. Yeah. But that year, I mean, there were there were a lot of titles that came out that year and pretty solid titles. And yeah, Bioshock won <laughs> Game of the Year a second year in a row. I was like, okay, wait a minute. Uh, hold the phone. It, it won it again. So maybe there's something to this game. <laughs> you know what? So I decided. You know, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go to. I'm, I'm gonna go to GameStop. You know. I buy down. used one. I, no, no, I was gonna buy a used copy, but then I found out that a brand new copy actually would have only cost me like twenty bucks. I was like, oh really? Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. For a, I was like, wow. And you know, considering the fact, you know, uh, game of the year. Yeah, twice. exactly. And it wasn't even the game of the year edition. Oh, it was just a regular. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, so I was like, all right, cool. So you know, I bought it, loaded it up, and you know what? It, the story and the plot line, it really draws you in. I mean, you have. I mean, uh, granted, you know, for those of you who are like expecting, like you know, this grand old adventure right off the bat, no, I mean, it's like a suspense. It builds movie. up. It to ha- it. You know, you have to be patient with this game. You know, you can't just be like, okay, play it for five minutes. I'm like, I don't like it. It's too slow. It sucks. But after you play it, though, you're not. After, you're you not know, regretting after you play it, right? for about, you know, give it a solid hour, and dude, you're gonna you're gonna really enjoy the game. So you're not regretting getting it? Not at all. Okay. No, I, I, I mean, yeah. obviously, I regretted it enough to buy a second, buy the second <laughs> game. <laughs> are you excited about? Infinite coming out. You know what? I was once again. I was in the same position with that I was with the first Bioshock. I was like, you know, it's because to- uh, all right, the first game and the second game, the granted they take place in the same exact location, but it's not the same character. And that you know, I like some sort. I, I like some sort of continuity when it comes to characters. Like when you get when you start playing with one character, uh, you know, let's say like a named character, um, like Master Chief. Uh, Master Chief's not a character. He he's he's a he's an archetype. All right. He okay. he's a plain slight. You know, there's a reason. You know, like the, like they. I mean, hell, Robot Chicken made a joke about it. The reason he doesn't take his helmet off is so that way the the player could better relate to him. You mm. know, it's like, oh, hey, that could be me under that helmet. You know, or that could be some you know total hoe bag underneath it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, but uh, but back, no, back to infinite. Okay, though. yeah. Okay, like um. Infinite doesn't even take place in the same spot. It takes place in a totally different location. I thought uh, it was supposed to be like before. Yeah. No, okay, one. okay. Like, look. no, no, no. Um. You know what? I'm not entirely sure about the timeline. You know, because huh. like I said, I haven't, I haven't read a whole lot upon Infinite. I've just seen a lot of the features on it, and it's got some pretty twisted gameplay. But I mean, at the same time, it looks very visually wait, wait. twisted as in bad or good. Twisted. You know, twisted. I use that. Uh, I use it on both levels. It, it, it's good and bad. I mean, oh, okay. it looks like, you know, it looks like, you know, if you push certain aspects of the game to the limit, it looks like, you know, oh, okay, shit, my game just froze. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, it was worth it. You know, but, um, I mean, damn. I mean, all right, like, look, um, the first two games, they took place in uh, the city of Rapture, which is a city that the... You know the billionaire, the multi-billionaire uh, Andrew Ryan builds underneath the the Atlantic Ocean. All right, now All right. now the second one takes place, I think, about like what ten years after the first one. Really? But in the same place though. Oh. All right. But all the effects that happened, you know, all the shit that happened in the first game, you know, you notice subtle things, you know, that changed as a result of, you know, hmm. like what happened. I mean, you know, what you do in the first one isn't gonna. You know, directly impact your experience in the second one. Well, I hate, I really hate to interrupt, yeah, but um, we gotta end it. But are you excited though that Infinite's coming out? You know what? Yeah, I, yeah. I gotta say, I'm pretty excited about it. All right. Well, um, well, this is uh, this has been an interesting uh, episode. <laughs> so we'll, started we'll, off pretty fun. Yeah, it did. But all right. Well, tune in next week for uh, another episode of uh, upcoming games. The reload, <laughs> recharge, review. Only on the B3 Radio Network. Oh, yeah. Uh, Once again, uh, you know, you can subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, iTunes. We're also on Blip.com. And uh, email us at uh, r3radio at live.com. Or give us a call. Yeah, feel free to call us at uh, 626-532-7154. This is Reload Recharge Review, only on the B3 Radio Network. All right, see you next week.